Okay, now we're ready to learn the basics of mark making. So there's a variety of pencils and leads you can use for drawing, just like a painter might select different brushes, or a carpenter might select different hammers. Certain tasks require specific tools for the job, so that's what we're going to learn today. Mechanical pencils are great because they always remain sharp, but they can't do every task. We can't necessarily use the broadside of the thin lead. The lead holders allow us to use a point or the side of the lead, but they need to be sharpened more often, and they can't get as fine as that 0.3 millimeter mechanical pencil. So we use a variety of pencils in unison to create a variety of marks and values. We use graphite rather than charcoal or Conte because in my opinion it's cleaner and it suits our needs for this drawing. Alright, so get out the mark making exercise sheet and you can follow along with me. First we're going to fill in these specific squares. The left side is light, the right side is dark. And go ahead and start with the 2H pencil and they're all labeled on the sheet here. We're going to start with the lightest pencil, the hardest pencil, and work our way up to the darkest pencils. So the purpose of this is just to test your tools and see how light you can make that specific tool and then how dark you can make it. That way you can kind of judge when we're in the rendering process how to use your tool. And you'll see as you fill in this light side how easy it is to create a light mark. And the whole purpose is to just create a, as light a mark as you can. You won't have to be really precise, just fill it in the best you can, however you like, and create the lightest mark. That's all you need. Okay, that's pretty light. So with the lightest area, see how I'm holding it on the side here? I'm able to just apply the pressure of maybe the weight of the pencil rather than pushing down onto the paper. So for the darkest side, we can get a better grip on the pencil and apply more pressure. The LEDs will be rated with numbers and letters. An easy way to remember this is that the letter B can stand for bold because it makes a darker mark. The letter H can stand for hard because it's a harder lead and harder to make a mark. The higher the number for B, the darker the mark. The higher the number for H, the lighter the mark. So essentially the graphite goes from super hard and light to super bold and dark. The HB pencil, AKA the number two from school, is labeled perfectly because it's right in the middle kind of hard, kind of bold. So speaking of HB, let's grab our next pencil. That's the 0.5 millimeter with HB lead and fill in both sides light and dark. The HB pencil is really good for a lot of value ranges if you can control the pencil. You can get almost as light as that 2H. We always need to be mindful of the delicate paper surface, which is another reason why we should understand the pencils we use. Most drawing paper has a soft surface and can be scratched deeply with graphite pencils. So deep that an eraser won't even remove the mark. Our nice drawing paper is thick, but its surface is not as compressed compared to something like cardstock. Also, most drawing paper will be more textured, which grabs that graphite a little bit better. So we can get pretty dark with this HB, right? And go back and forth. Okay, so now grab your 0.3 millimeter with B lead in it. That's going to be our smallest mechanical pencil with the finest point. And it's a softer lead, so you're actually going to see how it might be tougher to create lighter marks. So the more compressed the paper is, the harder it is to leave a mark. This paper I'm drawing on now is printer paper, so it's more compressed and it's going to work with the graphite just a little bit differently. If you really wanted, as you work through these exercises, you could probably print on nice resume paper that's cotton and it might be similar to the drawing paper we have. Or you could actually just cut the drawing paper to size and run it through your printer. This 0.3 millimeter lead is really thin too, so you might feel it snapping a lot. You might feel it breaking more often. Okay, let's move to the last mechanical pencil with the 4B lead. And you're going to find it's going to be even tougher to create that light side. Okay. 
All right, now let's start in with our lead holders. We'll start with the 2H lead. That's the hardest lead. It's gonna leave the lightest mark. When we choose to make any deep scratches into our paper, we wanna save them for the final rendering step. So throughout the design and blocking process, we'll use the lead holder with a dull HB lead. Use this handy dandy lead holder with the HB lead to fill in this next square. This is our workhorse, okay? We're gonna be using this a lot, so get familiar with it. All right, last but not least is our two millimeter 4B lead holder. And this is gonna create the same dark mark as the other 4B mechanical pencil. But like the other lead holders, it's gonna be able to fill in a larger area of value quicker. So that's mechanical pencils with the lead holders and all the different leads. So hopefully you got a little out of that and learned a little bit more about applying pressure to your pencil and getting different value marks.